Welcome to your yoga class level two. To begin with, we'll do some mindfulness. So just rest your hands onto your knees. Just slide your elbows back towards your torso. Try and sit as comfortably as possible with your shoulders nice and relaxed, your hips nice and relaxed and your knees nice and relaxed. All right, let's just take a minute or so to clear your head in preparation for your practice. We'll spend about a minute in complete silence, starting from now. Lovely. Thank you. Right, so today for your level two class, I have prepared 10 lovely yoga poses for you. The theme today is to breathe while moving. So I'm going to teach you how to breathe while performing all those lovely poses you like very much and uh, enjoy practicing on a regular basis. To begin with, we're going to do a very simple breathing exercise to teach you how to link breath to movement. All right, so just sit comfortably and stretch your arms outwards. Okay, then inhale deeply and as you exhale, bring your hands in prayer position. The first exercise is, as I've just mentioned, breathing. We're going to perform five breaths. Each breath equals one deep inhalation and one deep exhalation. When you inhale, your rib cage will be expanding. When you exhale, your rib cage will be compressing. So with your arms, you're going to be mimicking the movement of your rib cage. So as you inhale, right, your rib cage is going to expand just like a balloon would inflate. And as you do that, you're going to stretch your arms outwards, like so. And as you exhale, you're going to bring your hands back slowly to prayer position. Right? And this will be mimicking the compression of your ribcage to allow the, dioxide, the carbon dioxide to come out through your nose. All right, so when you inhale, you inhale for five seconds. When you exhale, you exhale up to 10 seconds, so twice as long. Let's begin the exercise now. So inhaling deeply for one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling deeply, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one breath, four more. Inhaling deeply, so expanding your rib cage, allowing fresh oxygen to go into your body. Five, exhaling deeply. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was breath number two. Three more. Breath number three coming up. Inhaling. One, two, three, four, five. Now your lungs are full of fresh oxygen. Exhaling for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Five more. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, lovely. Two more, inhaling deeply for one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling for ten seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Last one. Inhaling deeply. One, 
two, three, four, five. Exhaling for twice as long. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. It's very important to start your practice with breathing properly so that you can perform each exercise to the best of your ability. All right. Exercise number two. So we're going to start with stretching your hamstrings. So I'm going to sit sideways. Please stay facing forward. So now we're going to straight, you're going to, we're going to concentrate on the lower body, right? And more precisely on the knee joint. So you're going to interlock your fingers together. You're going to wrap your hands around your right foot. And then gradually we're going to work on releasing the tension in your hamstrings. So as you flex your knee, your hamstrings is contracting. As you extend your knee, your hamstring is releasing. So we do five breaths here. So each time you inhale, you bend your knee. And each time you exhale, you extend your knee. So we do five breaths. That was breath number one. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. Each time, try and release more tension in your hamstrings. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Let's do two more. So the, the hamstrings are a bit tight at the moment. They have been sitting all day. You probably have to. And let's do one more breath. Inhaling deeply. And exhaling deeply. Now, let's keep the leg nice and straight. Static stretch here. Five breaths statically. So inhaling deeply. And exhaling deeply. Inhaling deeply. And exhaling deeply. Relax your shoulders, lift your chest. Try and gaze above your toes. Inhaling deeply. Breath number three. Exhaling deeply. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling deeply. Mm. The hamstrings start to relax now. Feel it. Last one. Inhaling deeply. And exhaling deeply. Good. And release. All right. I'm going to turn around, show you the other side. So just allow the body to gradually ease into the stretch. So bend your left knee this time, interlock your fingers, and rest your sole into the palms of your hands. Keep your knee bent for now, so inhale, and as you exhale, this is when the stretch starts to begin. Bending your knee, inhaling deeply, exhaling. So muscular tension, when you bend your knee and muscular relaxation when you extend the knee. All right, so inhaling, breath number three. Exhaling. Inhaling. <clears throat> exhaling, let's do one more. Inhaling deeply, bending the knee. Extending the knee and hold now the stretch statically for five breaths. So inhale and exhale. It's always a good idea to contract your quads to allow the hamstrings to relax a little bit more. Inhaling deeply, try to look as high as you can above your toes. Exhaling deeply. Three more breaths. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling deeply. Two more. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling deeply. And last one, inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. Lovely, well done, good, all right. Yoga pose number three. So now we're gonna go into a high plank, like so. So we're gonna go into chaturanga from the high plank and back to the high plank. So here, the joint we're focusing on is your elbow. So as your elbows are bending, you're inhaling, you're keeping the body in one straight line. And as you move back to high plank, you exhale as your elbows are extending. We'll do this five times starting from now. So inhaling, slowly lowering your body down in one straight line. Exhaling, pushing the body away from the floor. 
Number two, inhaling deeply, exhaling. Number three, inhaling deeply. So you're using the power of your exhalation to lift the body back up. That's number four. And last one, inhaling deeply and exhaling deeply. And releasing your knees down. So always linking breath to movement. And that also means linking the breath to joint movement. All right, which is what we're doing. Next exercise, exercise number four. No, number four is all about hip opening, right? Number four and number five are hip opening exercises. So, the first one, we're gonna go from chaturanga to up dog to down dog, right? So we concentrate on up dog and down dog. So up dog starting now as you inhale, exhale into down dog. So to get to up dog, we need to go through high plank and low plank. So these two we've already done. Now up dog, inhale deeply, exhale, down dog. Breath number three. So from here. Up dog, sorry, high plank, chaturanga. Now, breath number three starts now. Inhaling, exhaling. Very challenging, but very good for your hips. High plank. If you need to move your feet to adjust your body, please do so. Low plank, up dog, inhaling deeply. So, extension of the hips and Flexion of the hips as you exhale. Let's do one more. High plank, low plank, up dog. As you inhale, exhale, as you close your hips. Take five breaths here. Five. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Try and Make sure your feet are nice and parallel. Also make sure your hands are spread, your fingers are spread, and your palms are nice and flat. Try and keep lots of space between your ears and your shoulders, and put in your belly close to your spine. Five breaths. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. Every now and again, just readjust the position as your body relaxes into it. Inhaling deeply, oh, it feels lovely. Exhaling deeply, inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply, and let's do one more. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. Now shake your head yes, just to relax your neck a little. Shake your head no. And when you're ready, lower your knees down on the floor and sit on your bum. How are we doing? <laughs> so now, Next position, we're going to go into the second hip opening exercise. And that is going to be a low cost. So if you lie on your tummy, okay, and extend your right arm forward and your left arm forward. Now we're going to raise both arms forward. So inhale deeply, and as you exhale, raise both arms forward and upwards and lower down. So inhale. And exhale. So although this is a hip opening exercise, it's also a hip strengthening exercise because your gluteus muscles behind you, your bum muscles, are working really hard to lift your upper body off the floor. Alright, so focusing on the upper body for now and then we'll do upper and lower limbs at the same time. So inhale deeply, exhale lift. Inhale, lower, exhale lift. So you close the hips as you inhale, and you open the hips as you exhale. Inhale deeply, exhale. So why are we exhaling as we lift the arms? Because that's when we need the power to lift the limbs off the floor. 
Let's do one more. So inhale deeply and exhale. Good. Now let's concentrate on your legs only. All right. So let's do both legs. Inhale deeply here. Exhale, lift both legs. Squeeze your bum as tight as you can and press your hip bones on the mat and lower down. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Each time raising the legs a bit further up. Stretching the toes away from your bum and down. Whew, it's very intense. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Keep your legs straight. Keep your knees locked. And squeeze your bum as tight as you can. And lower down. Let's do a couple more. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. And down. And let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. And down. Lovely. Now we're going to add the uh, um, upper body. So for this one, we'll hold the stretch statically. So as you raise both arms and legs, then we hold the pose for five breaths. Off we go. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Five. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Four. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Three. Oh my God. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Two. Last one. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. One, and release. And come back to child's pose, briefly. And sit up. So that exercise is really good for your hips, but notice how you're also working your back. All right, okay, so, yoga pose number six now. How are we doing? Good? <laughs> yoga pose number six. So, Number six is all about the core. So we'll be doing the boat pose. All right, so we'll start with half a boat. All right, so bend your left knee, like so. And now bend your right knee, like so, and balance onto your bum. And hold for five. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, one. Inhale deeply, Exhale deeply, two. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, three. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, four. Last one, inhale deeply, exhale deeply, five. And release. Okay, good. Now, let's attempt the full pose. All right, make sure that you're feeling your sitting bones pressing against the mat, okay? Okay, and when you're ready, ground hold of your big toes with the first two fingers of each hands, okay? Then lean slightly backwards, and then gradually raise your legs. Five breaths here. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, one. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, two. Engage your core, so pull your navel back towards your spine. Three more breaths, inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Two more, inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Try and look in between your feet, but slightly above your toes. Relax your shoulders, make sure the arms are nice and straight. Last one, inhale deeply, exhale deeply, and slowly release. Yeah, good. Well done. Okay, next pose, next pose. So, from here, we're gonna be coming up to standing. Woo. And then from here, we're gonna go into legs apart. All right, so this pose here, pose number seven, is all about the lower body. But we're gonna focus on the hips, right? So, as you can see here, my feet are turned in, which means that my uh, hips are rotating inwards, okay? From here, we're going to go into external rotation, which is a squat position, right? And this is what we're going to be doing. So when you inhale, you rotate inwards. When you exhale, you rotate outwards, yeah? Okay, five breaths starting now. So inhaling, exhaling. 
Inhaling. Exhaling. Breath number three. Inhaling. Exhaling. Breath number four, inhaling, exhaling. Last one, inhaling, exhaling. Now let's hold the foot bend with legs apart for five breaths. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply, inhaling deeply. Exhaling deeply, try and look as far forward as possible. You can either point your fingers forward or you could turn your hands backwards. Just a variation of the same pose. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. Try and lift your chest between your arms. Two more, inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. I always try and squeeze my quads to allow my hamstrings to lengthen more. Good. And if you can, try and lift your bum higher. So lift your seated bones higher towards your ceiling. Last one, inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Good, turn your hands around. Then external rotation of the hips. Okay, five breaths here. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. Inhaling deeply, try and squeeze your, your glutes as well. Support your hips, exhaling deeply. Three more breaths. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. So it's always good to learn how to move uh, from one pose to another using your breath, but it's also good to hold the stretches statically and breathe uh, using the yogic breath while holding those stretches. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. And last one, inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. Good. From here, extend your legs, walk your feet back to center, and sit yourself down. Getting ready for pose number eight. All right. So pose number eight is all about the upper body. So we're going to up facing plank. So variation number one, leading up to up facing plank right, upward facing plank, is a tabletop. So let's start with that. Make sure your body is in one straight line from your shoulders all the way to your knees. Let's do five breaths here. So let's do five breaths while holding the pose statically. So inhale deeply, exhale deeply, one. And try and keep your hips in a neutral position. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, two. Inhale deeply, also try to align your head to the rest of your spine. Exhale deeply. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Couple more, inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Use your hands and use your feet to lift your hips off the floor, away from the mat. Last one, inhale deeply, exhale deeply. And lower down. Even the tabletop is very challenging. Now, if we, if we approach the tabletop from a movement point of view, it would look like that. So please feel free to join me. So inhale here, exhale at the top. Inhale lower when you flex your hips, exhale when you extend your hips, right? Number two, inhale deeply, exhale. Inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, love it, good, so now that we've warmed up the arms and the shoulders, we are ready for the upwards facing dog, so what we're going to do is we hold it for five breaths. Try as much as possible to have your legs straight. Try as much as possible to have your toes fully connected to the mat. All of them. It's the hardest uh, part of the pose. All right. 
Off we go. So extend your legs first. And we're ready. One, two, three. Inhale, exhale, lift. One. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Two. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Three. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Four. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Five. And lower down. Whew. Challenging. But amazing. It makes you feel amazing. All right. Lovely. So, from here, we're going to move to yoga pose number nine. Yoga pose number nine is all about posture. Right? So, as you can see, from pose number one to pose number nine, we are approaching the entire body. We're not leaving anything out. We're doing upper body and lower body twice. We're doing breathing. We're doing hips, mobility and strengthening exercises. We're doing core. And now we're doing posture. So there are many ways of approaching posture. But today I've decided to concentrate on the, um, the arching of the spine. Because the arching of the spine, behind the neck, but also in the lower part, helps you to have a good posture, especially, well, whether you are sitting or standing, it reminds you that the spine is curved in two places. So here's the cat stretch for you. So the cat stretch is right here. So let's do five breaths in cat stretch. Try and make sure that your body is contracting in your lower back, but also just behind your neck a little bit. So five breaths. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Good. Let's push back into child's pose briefly and we'll do a second round. All right. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. If you want to make it slightly harder, we can raise the right arm and the, the opposite leg, right? It activates your back a bit more. And if your back is stronger, your posture is stronger. So let's do five breaths here. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Try and have a straight line between the right arm and the left leg. Two more breaths. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. And last one, inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Lower down, other side. Left arm forward, right leg backwards. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, one. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, two. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, three. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, four. Ooh. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, five. Try and raise the arm and the leg a bit higher and lower down. Push back to child's pose just to relax your lower back. And when you're ready, lie yourself down ready for the final relaxation. So from staff pose here, roll down to Shavasana. Five, four, three, Two and one. Good. So remember today it was all about muscular tension and relaxation. So in Shavasana, it is the right time to relax your body. But before relaxing the body, let's tense it up one more time. So squeeze every single body, every single muscle of your body, including your face. Squeeze your face like a sour lemon. Clench your fist. Squeeze your toes. Squeeze every single muscle of your upper and lower body and relax. Let's relax for a couple of minutes in Shavasana. Nothing to do here.
we will already start bringing some awareness back into your body simply by moving your fingers and your toes turning your head over to the right and back center then over to your left and back center bring your right knee into your chest hug your right knee bring your left knee to meet your right hug both knees and gently sway from side to side massaging your lower back then coming up to a sitting position crossing your legs back to where we started I'd like to invite you to um, to do a short meditation with me, a silent meditation for one minute starting now. Nothing to do here, just clear your head. And to finish up the class, I would like to chant Om three times. Please feel free to join me. together in prayer position. Thank you, I hope you enjoy the class and see you soon. Bye.